What is up, my dudes? We are back here on some more WWE 2K19. Now, guys, I want to start a new series. We tried doing this before, but I want to do it in a different style. We're going to talk about main events, or should we say pay-per-views, and talk about the ups and downs of these pay-per-views. But instead of putting pictures of what happened, we're just going to play a Royal Rumble using some of the superstars in that pay-per-view while we talk to you you guys about what happened. Yo, I'm basically gonna be Roman Reigns. There's the roster. That's who was at Fast Lane. Ups and downs coming up. Let's do this Royal Rumble. Okay, my dudes, here we go. And uh, my boys, Fast Lane, to me, was a darn success. It was, it was happy. I liked it. That was, you know what? I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. That was about, let's say, Oh, there was, I would say, a little bit of a letdown. That was, I'll talk about the letdown first because uh, majority of it, 95% of uh, Fast Lane was actually very, very good. And I very much enjoyed Fast Lane. Hopefully, uh, we can talk while I'm playing. But uh, there we are. All right, so what I want to talk about, the main part is I told you the thing was coming back. I told you the thing. He's all bad and he's all, all mutilating and stuff. It was crazy. Another re. Oh, no. you know what, guys? I want to try and go in order. You know what? I'm going to do it first. One second. Let me let me just do this. I need to go to a, a side. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select. Yes, it does not matter about that. I'm going I'm to let the computer play because I want to talk to you and not concentrate on the game, my boys. Now, first of all, if you like this style of talking about ups and downs while we do a WWE World Rumble, let me know if you enjoy it in the comments below. Like, I want you to start this series a while back. We done an episode the other day, well, sorry, not the other day, a while back, should I say, and uh, I done pictures and you know what most WWE channels do, and I kind of just like, it wasn't my style. This is my style, getting hyped while watching WWE games, right? That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go from top to bottom. This is this is where it's all about, my boys. All right, so why are we watching this? Uh, let's talk about the first thing that happened actually on the, uh, the kickoff. The start of Fast Lane, not the actual pay-per-view live, just the kickoff to get it all started. Matt Riddle destroyed once again. Ali, Ali goes on a crazy one and then basically gets double choke slammed by Mace and T-Bar. Ali is no more a leader of retribution. Whoo, that, that's kind of big news. That is kind of big news. Now, Roman Reigns got out by T-Bar. All right, that's a surprise. Um, one thing I do want to say is the tag team division needs to be shaken up. So, brace, so breaking up Retribution the way they did could actually be a good thing. Because at the moment, let's just be honest, man, they're going nowhere. The faction of Retribution is going nowhere. Now, forget Slapjack. He was, he, I don't like Slapjack. Mason T-Bar putting them together could actually prove a very good tag team, a formidable force. If you stick them together, take the whole retribution thing away and just do something different. Like I, told, I said this the other day, guys, I reckon it could be good, especially for the tag team division anyway. Two powerhouses like that, I kind of like it. We need something good in the tag team division. The tag team division at the moment is kind of stale. WrestleMania, Omos is going to get his debut, AJ Styles, and Omos going head to head with the New Day for the Tag Team Championships. We're finally going to see Omos in his ring debut. That's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. But I need more. We need more tag team stuff, man. We do, man. Like I said, the tag team division is stale at the moment. So breaking up retribution. Hopefully, Mace and T-Bar can be a tag team. Slapjack, you're fired. Yeah, the Ali, I don't know what the heck's gonna happen with him now. All right, anyway, so let's start with Apollo and Big E. Now, I was hype about that match. Woo, I was, I was very hype for that. I love this new Apollo. This is not the new Apollo. This is the real Apollo. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, the match started off absolutely epic. Big E coming out like a madman. Boom, spearing him straight off the ring, giving him some of them big splashes there on the side of the apron. It was getting hot in here. We see some suplex cities from Apollo, and it was good. And then, and then I don't know if it was a botch or if it was meant to happen, but somehow 
One, two, three. I didn't even know who won for a second. I was like, what the, what the heck is going on right here? What the heck is going on? Big E wins. And then you just see Apollo going crazy with some Olympic slams. But he could have done that in the first place. Not like he got a weapon. That, that match right there started off very good. Had some potential. Kind of finished in an epic fail or botch, whatever you want to say. But I reckon that match is going to be lined up for WrestleMania. They're going to make, they're going to bring the WrestleMania to Apollo and Big E. Fast Lane was just a preview. In my opinion, it was just a preview. That match is none. It, it, it's forgotten. It's forgotten. WrestleMania is where it's really going to go down with them too. Now I can agree with that. Shane and Braun, I was, I was kind of excited for this. But at the same time, I was thinking, Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon. That right there just screams WrestleMania. And then when Shane McMahon done them jumping, my guy can jump high, bro. He's doing them jumping knees. He dropped and bust his knee. And then he couldn't go up against Braun Strowman. That's again, another match getting set up for WrestleMania. Elias took his place. That was a letdown. I didn't like that match, to be honest. Braun and Elias, this is something you just see on Raw. Like, oh yeah, Monday Night Raw, Braun Strowman destroys another WWE Superstar. That, that, that right there was an absolute flop. Once again, Shane and Braun getting set up for WrestleMania, just like Apollo and Big E. Them two matches right there, straight up, they weren't for fast lane. They were previews of what is gonna go down at WrestleMania. WrestleMania, them two matches. I'm not even gonna talk about the uh, tag team match with um, um, the women, because I kind of skipped it, bro. Wasn't that great? Um, anyway, next up, Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style, going up against Seth Rollins right there. What I will say right now is the Shinsuke Nakamura we have now, this is the Shinsuke Nakamura I've wanted. I want this. Do I want him as a tag team with anybody? No! Shinsuke needs to be on his own. This is where he shines. This is where Shinsuke shines on his own. He can have friends. He can be Cesaro's friend. Do not put them as a tag team ever again. It takes the spotlight off both of them. They need a spotlight on them when they're on the ring, when they're together. It sounds like a dream team. Cesaro, Shinsuke, sounds good. But in theory, it's just, oh, Apollo's gonna get taken out by the Montreal Monk men. He didn't get taken out. Yo. So really and truly, I want Cesaro to do his own thing, and I want Shinsuke to do his own thing. They can be friends, hell yeah. But at the same time, this Shinsuke we got back, very well. <laughs> yes, that was, that. yo, the king of strong style is back. He ain't forgetting the name Shinsuke for a little while. I'm telling you right now, I think this may be set up for another WrestleMania map or match, or it could be a little uh, pull and tug with a Seth, Cesaro and Shinsuke, maybe Murphy might get involved as well. That could be self. Do I want to see a whole um, tag team matchup? No, I don't. I want to see one-on-ones. I don't like Shinsuke and uh, Cesaro together as a tag team in tag team matches. One-on-one -on -one matches, they shine much better. You see how good they are. Since th this match, this match with Seth and Shinsuke was very, very good. It did not disappoint. I liked it 100%. Woo! Oh, the next match we're going to talk about right now. Woo! It was brutality, brutality with a capital B. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Drew McIntyre came out with the, the William, what was his name, William Robbins? William, I always forget his darn name from Braveheart. The guy, you know, what is his name? William Wallace, that, William Wallace, that's the one. The guy who led the Scots to the war to England to claim back their lands with the big giant Claymore. He came out with the Scottish face. Pain. I loved it. I loved it. If you guys have not seen Braveheart, go watch it right now. It will give you some behind the scene footage of that face paint that Drew McIntyre came out on. Was it epic? Heck yeah. Oh my God, that match right there did not disappoint. I said this before, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, this little feud they got going on, do you know what? It was good to take the WWE Championship away from them because it would have just messed things up, man. Like, this feud with Sheamus and Drew, 
is better done without the championship. The championship can have another storyline, so I kind of like it. It was a good decision to let Drew not have that at the moment. You know, let, let, let the WWE champion do whatever he's got to do. Let Drew and Sheamus fight out. That match was absolutely epic. We're going to see Bobby and Drew at WrestleMania anyway, so he'll get back in on that. Will Sheamus get involved? Would it be a three-way? Uh, I don't know what's going to happen there, but at the same time, Drew and Sheamus, it was a brutal, no holds barred match. It was very good. Sheamus got thrown through the down TVs. Oh, oh God, it was good. Oh, it was good. It was, it was real good. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that no holds barred matchup between them two. They, there was, it was, it was, it was brutal. It, yeah, it was real. Like I said, capital B. It was brutal. They did not. Disappoint, but I said that you guys remember when I said that when Sheamus and Big E was having their little feud and how brutal they went with each other. I knew even when um, Sheamus and Jeff Hardy, I knew Sheamus was gonna be able to bring that brutality. I knew it straight away, and we see what Drew can do. We already seen how brutal Drew can go, so I knew putting them two head to head in a no holds bar match, it, it was gold. It, it, was, it was a good match. It was a very good match. Will we see more of the feud? I hope so. I hope so. I would like to see more of that. Now, what everyone was, what every single person was waiting for to see at Fast Lane last night. Alexa versus Randy. Woo! So now we know Alexa Bliss can control things with her mind, i.e. making the lights fall down from the ceiling. What the heck? Make flame balls out of thin air. <laughs> Like, dog, before she had that machine, yo, when when the ding, 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 Randy, Randy went to run at her, it was four fireballs, they looked like, whoosh, come out of nowhere to get him. Then she put the hand one out again, over for the match too. Yo, that was cool. That was, I, I like that. I actually really like that. And it, the, 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 the look Alexa gave when she looked at Randy, all smiling and laughing, when Sirius looked up, then looked down, and the lights come crashing down. <laughs> Yo! It was, it, was, it was real good. It was real good. And I told you guys, the fiends, I told you, I told you guys, the fiends were coming back. The fiend was coming back. Did he come back? The guy looked like friggin' what burnt crispy Frankenstein. No droopy face and all this stuff. I told you, I done a match the other day between Randy and the fiend because you can't do Alexa versus Randy. And I had a crispy fried uh, fiend. That I've done the match with, and I knew it. There he is! What the hell? As soon as I talk about it, there he is! The crispy fraud fiend! There he is! He's, you saw the skin all melted and stuff. Even the gloves is all melted, and there's only two of them on there. And the hand, it was like a Frankenstein monster. Alexa Bliss has brought back something that you will see on Pet Cemetery. You guys never seen the movie Pet Cemetery. What you do is when your pet dies, you take it to the cemetery and it comes back alive. And it's evil. The fiend was already evil. He came back even more evil. Oh my! The guy looked like he's blind in one eye. He got blue eye right there. That's the blindness. He can't see out of that one. But uh, is he gonna stay like that? I don't know. I, I honestly, I like the look because like what happened? He got burnt to a crisp in the middle of the ring. It was thematic. It was good to see him come back from the depths of hell. The fire coming out from the hole. And then you see the thing just come out. And you suppose you saw his hand. At, and he's like, what the heck? His hands all messed up and burnt to a crisp. Then he comes out and oh, the clothes were burnt. He had all the burnt skin stuff on, which was awesome. His mask, he still had hair. It was messed up. He shouldn't have no hair. Obviously, he's not gonna cut it off. Ben should have given him $10 million to cut that down hair off. It would have went even better. But uh, yeah, his mask was all melting and stuff. That was, that was kind of cool to see that. It was over very quick after that though. Yo. Basically, he just walked straight into his sister Abigail. Alexa got on top of him. I was like, when Alexa got on top of him, I was like, damn, what? Am I still watching wrestling right now? I thought Sly Girl was about to happen. The way she was sitting on Randy, I was like, am I still on WWE Network, darn this? And I, I was, I was like, yo, I would love to be a wrestler right now. All right, anyway, so that was very good. Now we talk about the main event. The main event. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns and the Yes Movement, Daniel Bryan, with Edge as the Enforcer. And then he's, as soon as I look up, he's there. What did I say to you guys the other day? Just go back, my match. Just go back a couple matches. What did I say? I told you Edge was going to screw everyone over. I told you that. 
obviously he was he was mad. He got hit with that steel chair by Daniel Bryan by accident, by the way, by accident. And he was this he was in a in a mind frame of his anger. Of Randy just got out of the fiend. What the heck? Um, now Daniel Bryan, I can forgive him. It was an accident, man. He didn't mean to do it. He was just angry. He shouldn't have picked that steel chair up, by the way. He shouldn't have done it. He shouldn't have done done it. But he did. And the rage got the better of him. And then that's what made Edge lose it. Edge was calling it straight down the middle at first. I couldn't believe it. I was waiting for a spear to come in. I was waiting for someone to get speared. But then he got hit. And then he wowed out and just laying a couple of... He didn't really pick no one's side. He just did a couple of chair shots down on both of them. And then uh, the pin by um, Roman. But to be honest, the start of the match was actually very good. It was like a 40 minute match, but it didn't really feel like a 40 minute match. It was actually one of the longest matches, to be honest. But uh, Daniel Bryan definitely played mind games with uh, Roman Reigns at first. Roman Reigns, you can definitely see, is a full-on powerhouse, man. This guy, he's like, he's not Brock Lesnar. He would never be Brock Lesnar, man. But you can just see the raw power of Roman. Now he's healed. I love it. I love it. One thing I do want to say about this, Roman could talk, man. We don't need Paul Heyman there no more. Tell me if I'm wrong or am I just losing my mind? But every time I see Paul Heyman's darn face and him just looking at Reigns like this, I, it, I feel it cringy, bro. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Paul, you gotta go. Paul Heyman, I'm sorry. I know you gotta stand there, but just please stop doing that darn look at Roman. Well, he just does this look. Stop it, man. You don't need to do it. That's like the ultimate cringe, Paul Heyman. Stop. Please. Just stop it, man. Even when Roman's walking down to the ring and you just see Paul Heyman there looking at him. Well, you don't need to look at him, man. You don't need to. You don't. Stop looking at Roman. What that? We know he's the head of the table, but darn, he's just walking down. He's just there. Eyes fixated on Roman Reigns. Like, bro, just walk down with him, man. I'm pretty sure I don't remember when Paul Heyman was just looking at Brock Lesnar like this. I don't remember that. I remember the faces he used to do next to him. He was just there. He was the talker. Roman can talk now, man. I would like to see Roman come down to the ring with Jey Uso. I would like that. Even though it wouldn't be a surprise that Jey Uso come in. But nine times out of ten, you know he's always going to come in anyway. You know he's going to come in. Just like he got involved in the match with Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. Came down, laid a couple of super kicks. First one was on edge. Boom! Then on Daniel Bryan. Boom! Go and get the chair. Then he got messed up. But that's where out of chair got involved because uh, Jay Uso bring it into the ring, which uh, was a mistake. At the same time, it wasn't a mistake because, you know, it led to uh, Edge getting hit and then uh, Roman winning. So, you know, it might have been a mistake at first, but it paid off for Roman. Big E getting ready. Big ending right there to uh, Mace. He's laying it down. Boom! I just <laughs> there. But uh, in in general, fast lane for me, success. Like I said, the first two main matches, other than the women's tag team match, Jay Uso almost got taken out. Apollo and Biggie started off good, ended not so good. But like I said, I feel like that was more of a preview of leading to WrestleMania, in my opinion. Shane and Braun, that's more of a WrestleMania main event. Like I said, that, that I knew that was, I, I just felt like it wasn't gonna be a fast lane. You know, WrestleMania is not even that far away. Why ruin that main event? Oh, Sheamus just took out um, Jey Uso. Um, why, why waste that for fast lane? It's blatantly gonna have to be a WrestleMania. So, you know, kind of knew it was gonna happen, but at the same time, didn't really expect it because I just thought it was gonna happen. On the way. Olympic style and power moments, and that was such a cool replay right there. I love it. Um, but yeah, them two matches definitely set up for WrestleMania. 100%. 100%. Um, Red, what's going to happen now with Retribution? I want to see what they're going to do. Are they going to disband the whole lot? Like I said, I would like to see T-Bar and Mace. I know I'm just repeating myself at this time, but I really want to just get my thoughts out there because every time I say something, it happens, man. And I love it. I love it, man. T-Bar and Mace. Definitely just make them to I'm I, do I want them to take their masks off? Maybe I'm not too sure. I don't want them to be called retribution no more. Forget the name retribution. They need a new fresh start. They need to call themselves something else. Uh um Mayor Yim, she needs to go and do her own thing, go back to NXT man. The slap jack, slap a jack, man. I don't know what the heck you need to do. You need to I don't know man, you need you need to just 
Oh, I don't know if there's any future for Slapjack, to be honest. It's kind of sad to say, but I don't know. Uh, but Mason T-Bar, strip their mask, maybe, I'm not too sure. 100% definitely a new name. Them two could cause some havoc in the tag team division. Maybe. I would like to see it, man. Just get rid of the, the whole retribution. It was a flop. It was, it was messed up. Oh, Ali. Oh, he's gone. Big E, yeah, and this, this is the rivalry we had before. WrestleMania right now. Look at this. Oh, I like it. I'm digging it. It's awesome. Big E and Sheamus going head to head again in this little Rumble right here. I like it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, Ali. What, what's going to happen to Ali now? He got Bro Derek from the top rope, bro. Matt Riddle gave him the Bro Derek from the top. I think it's called the Bro Derek. Got him with the, the Bro Derek from the top rope. Boom! Yo, Matt Riddle got it, man. I like it. I like it. Yo, I like it. They're using Matt Riddle pretty good. I thought, yeah, that um, Keith Lee would get used more than Matt Riddle. And it's actually the other way around. When they first both came in, I was like, Keith Lee's going to have the spotlight here. And the spotlight is more shifted to Matt Riddle. It's kind of cool. I like him. Bro. Bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my boys. Overall, very good uh, pay-per-view. I think that I loved it. Let me know, yeah, what you guys thought about it in the comments below. What was your favorite match? If I had to pick one. That's hard. That That's hard. That's really hard. I, I would, if my favorite match, probably, May, may have been Drew and Sheamus. But it was a very good match. Even Seth and Shinsuke was a good match. But that's something you're more likely to just see on SmackDown or something like that. So, the, the, the Randy and the Alexa match was pretty good, but it was very short. Felt like it could have been a bit longer, in my opinion. Could have been just a tad bit longer. Yeah, I felt like it was over too quick. It was short-lived. But what I'm hearing, is that they're gonna blow up now, Fiend and Randy. The whole feud is gonna be fully blown up. Like insane. Go get him. Oh God, he's done it. Sheamus just won the Royal Rumble. There it was, man. I kinda like this style, man. Guys, let me know if you like this new style I'm gonna be doing of uh, ups and downs from pay-per-views. Let me know in the comments below, man. This is more my style. This is definitely more my style. I felt at home doing it this way, talking. I do I need to get. I got the list of Jericho. I know Jericho's in AEW now, but I got the list of Jericho. I may need to start writing it down there and having my list of Jericho while I'm talking about it, man. But yeah, I'm actually I, I'm not excited about doing the series. I can uh, I can do this all day. Uh, but yeah, all right, guys. Let me know what your favorite part of Fastlane was, and uh, what is the, your most hyped match for WrestleMania? Mine, the debut of Omos. 100%. I want to see him in the ring. See when he kicked that guitar out of uh, Jackson Rackers. Boom! Can't wait to see some of that action going on, man. I'm going to say for the New Day. New Day, oh, man. You're going to lose them tag team titles right there. Uh, but all right, guys. Yep. Comments below. There they are. Leave them down there. But until then, we'll see you guys in the next episode of my dudes.